So this is all about antiseptics and antibiotics. Let's look at the slide and see what we've got. Firstly, we can see that Dettol and Savlon are antiseptics. These are chemicals that kill bacteria but outside the human body. Um, we've also got on the right hand side tea tree oil. Tea tree oil is made from a plant and some plants make chemicals that defend themselves against pathogens. These chemicals are called antibacterial. Then we've got the word antibiotics. So amoxicillin and penicillin are antibiotics. They're drugs. They're drugs that we take and are used to kill bacteria and some fungi, but they don't kill viruses. And lastly, we've got in the top left-hand corner, caniston cream. That is an antifungal drug, and that is a drug used to kill fungi. So this is an experiment you should have done to do with which antibacterial substance is the best. The grey area is a petri dish with lots and lots of bacteria growing on it. Now there have been two spots of paper put into the petri dish, A and B. A was soaked in antibacterial substance A and B was soaked in antibacterial substance B. And we can see that around A there's a bigger area where bacteria have been killed than around B. So A was a better anti antibacterial substance than B because it killed more bacteria. So this is all about resistance in bacteria. We must always only take antibiotics if it's really necessary and we must always finish the course. This is to make sure that all bacteria will be killed. If we do not, bacteria are more likely to become resistant to a particular antibiotic. So for instance, a bacteria called MRSA has become resistant to the anti antibiotic methicillin. And what happens with resistant bacteria is that they're not killed by the antibiotic, they can reproduce and they will pass on the gene for resistance to their offspring.